Yo, what's going on guys? This is Keck back here with another Discord video. And in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Discord Injections, which is a third party client for Discord that allows you to inject custom CSS and JS into the Discord client. And this is like really useful for people that want to get more out of Discord and add their own features that Discord has yet to add. So what you want to do, first of all, you want to go to to the link in the description to the github page and you will be brought here to the readme and then it pretty much just gives you some information so it does uh not does it only support custom css injections but it also gives you the ability to, for custom javascript injections so custom css css hot loading and watching custom js in the form of plugins custom commands custom settings transparency and frame settings custom splash screens css and then the requirements is this module requires you to have node.js installed with es6 support and it also optionally requires git for easier version updating which is the way you actually have to install it here so once you have installed node.js and git you're gonna open git like so and once you do that you're gonna copy and paste this line of code here and you can put a random folder name uh i'm just gonna put tutorial i guess and you will click enter and what this does it clones the files for discord injections and puts it into this folder so it's essentially downloading it and extracting it into that folder for you so this should take roughly a couple seconds minute at max once that completes you're gonna go cd and then the name of your folder and then you're gonna go npm install and what this does it will install discord injections onto your discord so right now it is searching for discord processes that are open right now so you actually do have to have discord open while you are doing this this might take a while depending on your you know internet speed and whatnot so right now it is installing it so it will probably take a couple minutes at max as well so once it's officially done downloading and whatnot uh by the way if you run into this kind of error just do npm audit fix force and that should fix it for you but after all of that you can just do npm run inject and it will it will give you the processes of your discord apps open right now so i have discord canary open and i also have normal discord stable build open i already have discord injections installed on discord the stable build so i'm gonna close git here because i don't want to install it on canary because that's the build i use and i don't want to change that so you can just put one or two if you have multiple processes of discord open right now and then it will install so pretty much closes it down closes discord uh, so it kills the process and then it will reopen it so once it is officially done installing you can reopen discord it should reopen yourself you might have to re-sign in through this because i'm pretty sure it clears all your cache and whatnot but uh, i decided to use a new discord account for this because i don't use third-party programs on discord as you can see, you can scroll at the bottom of your user settings and it will list Discord injections. So it says customize DI. So these are all custom plugins and whatnot, themes, etc. Then plugins and themes, uh, which you can add in with yourself. So install local plugins and themes there. And then commands, you can enter in custom commands and make them. So that's pretty much it for discord injections i should clarify that i do not condone using third-party builds of discord nor do i use them i did this purely for people that are wanting to and yeah just educational and tutorial purposes only is the reason why i'm making this video but yeah guys that should be it for today's video if you liked today's video make sure to leave a like subscribe for more and i will catch you guys in the next one